Today I'm going to be talking about how to wear a stethoscope and the parts of the stethoscope. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to wear a stethoscope and the parts of the stethoscope. If you're a medical student, a nursing student, medical doctor, nursing, a nurse already, or you work around the hospital and you're able to use the stethoscope, you're going to meet it daily. You use it for different things like auscultating the heart sounds or listening to the heart sounds. We use it to listen to the breath sounds or the lung sounds. We use it to listen to the bowel sounds. So we use it for different purposes. And at the same time, if you're maybe an antenatal, you're assessing your mothers, you're going to use it if you're using a manual blood pressure machine. So today I'm going to be telling you the different parts of the stethoscope. Oh, I'm using this one. It's a Littmann stethoscope. We have three major parts of the stethoscope. Hopefully they fit in the video. The stethoscope has three parts. Hopefully they fit in the entire video. This is the headset. This, whatever I'm showing you, this is called the headset. It is called the headset and it has two major parts. It has these which are also called the ear pieces. Then it has these, which are called ear tubings. Then it has this long tube. It's called a tubing or a tube. Then we also have a stem, this that connects the tubes to the, to the bell and the diaphragm. It has a stem. Then this is called a chest piece because this is what we put at the chest as we are listening to our heart sounds or breath sounds and it has the the chest piece has two sides it has the smaller side and it also has the bigger side the smaller size is known as the bell the bell of the stethoscope and it is used to listen to low pitched sounds like the bowel sounds or heart some some heart murmurs can also be used but in people with rheumatic heart disease, sometimes even you don't have to use this. You just use the diaphragm and you will hear them. This is a diaphragm. We use it to listen to high pitched sounds like the lung sounds or the heart sounds. So briefly, those are the parts of the stethoscope. And let's talk about how to wear it. You will notice that most people, before they put it on, they do like this. Just not because that the ears are you know at the same point but because they want to make sure they've put it on nicely and perfectly let me do it like this if i do it like this you you, you notice that it is pointed at this end you know it is pointed like this you want to wear it when it is these pointings are just like far away from you and then you put them in your ears why we do like this it is because nose point nose point nose point you know makes up it makes a perfect fitting for the ear if i do like this i'm so certain that this is the right way i should put it on if i do like this and it is you know curved inwards and then i decide to wear it like this it's so uncomfortable and i'll not hear a thing we put them on like Every time, if you've forgotten, especially if you're still a student and you're struggling on how to use a stethoscope, when you're struggling, just get your stethoscope. As you remove it from your neck and all that, just do like this. If you see that it is making a nose point, then you're sure that you're going to put it on the right way. Fit it in your ears perfectly. Then depending on what, most of the times we advise you to first tap it a little bit. To be so sure that you're actually hearing before you go and place it on the patient to auscultate or hear the sounds if you've put it on like this the wrong way i don't hear a thing i just hear something from this the outside and if i beat harder it's when i'm able to hear but i don't hear clearly so you want to make sure that it's nose pointed and you are wearing it the right way then you'll be able to just a simple tap 
can make you hear very very well very very well so that's how we wear a stethoscope and those are the parts of the stethoscope thank you so much for watching and if you've liked the video give it a thumbs up thank you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel share with your friends comment in the section below follow me on my other platforms instagram facebook and twitter the links are down below bye and see you next time